Keep that in mind. Locally, though, things are looking good. Traffic not bad either. It's a few clouds downtown from our BJCC camera. 79 degrees. Southwest winds around 10. The dew point 74. It's very balmy out there. Every oven like I like to call it with the heat index of 81. You open the front door just like you do an oven. The heat just smacks you in the face. That's indeed what we have out there this morning. Around the area from 77 to Fayette, Tuscaloosa, Alabaster, and Aniston now. 75 anywhere from Coleman to Hamilton, Jasper, and Asheville. All the way back down to Clanton as well. And around the country, you can see the 80s here in Oklahoma City. All of Oklahoma was in the 100s yesterday. Much of Texas as well, too. You can see El Paso at 87, 94 in Phoenix. Sunny's even up there. It's in the 90s, so they're always hot, though. What else is new for them? For us, though, again, hot and humid. What else is new for July? But a little hotter than we usually see. On average, our high is 91. We'll get to about 95 today with some light winds and just a very small chance of seeing a shower or two. 95, also Tuscaloosa, Fade to Jasper at 96, 95 in Hamilton, 92 Talladega to Aniston, so a smidge cooler, if you will, off there to the east where the heat index is about 101 to 103, but 102 to 107 from Birmingham to the west, and that's where heat advisory is in effect. So this map shows everyone, but really I-65 to the west heat advisory today. The eastern counties will be heat advisory for tomorrow as you'll feel more of that heat before some changes come. Uh, it's heat index down a little bit into Saturday, but back to 105, 106 Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. So my ice cream scoop cast, three scoops needed out there for the day today with that high of 95 degrees to find ways to keep yourself cool and hydrated. While we are dealing with some high clouds and you're going to watch a couple showers and may try to clip northeast Alabama today, but tomorrow we'll be watching this front coming through Oklahoma. Much need a break from the heat for them. That's going to arrive in our area, but not until tomorrow. So not much in the way of rain today. Again, northeastern Alabama, 30% chance out there for the day today. Future cast will basically show we're going to be dealing with again a couple of those clouds out there. Maybe a rogue shower or two if you see from time to time. Midday temperatures at 89 again, lower to mid 90s this afternoon. Dinner time tonight still right around 90 degrees and by say bedtime tonight temperatures upper 70s to lower 80s. Now for tomorrow as that front moves closer to us never really gets here, but out ahead of it chance for strong to severe thunderstorms is a level two slight risk from much of central Alabama level one north of there. Damaging winds hail maybe up to one inch and heavy rain is possible with these storms who have issued a weather aware for tomorrow during the afternoon and evening hours for that heavy rain, gusty wind and hail threat I'm expecting across the area. So that's our next weather maker. You'll notice quiet in the morning, but starting midday, continuing to the afternoon hours, you'll see these thunderstorms popping up. They're the ones that can be severe potentially. They'll continue into the evening over southwest Alabama, really south of I-20 once we get to 11 o'clock on Thursday. But by Friday morning, everything is kind of cleared out, but we could see maybe a resurgence of a few storms at the front stalls over the area into Friday, 30% chance. So be weather aware tomorrow and then hot weather and humid weather for the weekend mid 90s with the heat index of around 105 or greater. Dave, thank you. You know, it is hard to believe that the world